Welcome back, Sports Tonight on Channels Television. We're taking a look at the 21st edition of the African Athletics Championships taking place in Asaba Delta State. Ah, that connection isn't so good. We're talking to Bukola Olofade, an official of the local organizing committee. He's just trying to uh, set the record straight as regards uh, all of the talks we're hearing. But um, Bukola has just said that day one went well, and that's good news. But, but then we must say it. Um, if something is good, then it's good. I've yeah. been to I've been to international competition. I don't get to see pictures flying around. Our journalists don't have uh, where to work. Uh, the problems of logistics might happen with flights and all. But it goes to tell us that putting together an event requires proper planning. And it's something that we don't have. And it has to be on. We have to be objective. We've got to be honest. Nobody's going out for anybody. Nobody wants to run anybody down. Clearly, but. There's clear incompetencies mm. that we've seen in this tournament. And a journalist who come from South Africa and come from Senegal and come from the rest of the African countries and just purposely come and sit on the floor and give someone his phone and say, take me a picture of me sitting on the floor just because he wants to embarrass the nation. It, it doesn't make any sense, Austin. We've got to be honest with this thing because it's not from one journalist. I mean, if you... ...talking points from that event. So that's it. Uh, we're glad to have Blessing Akagbari inducted into uh, the CAA Hall of Fame and Ulusoji Fashuba also. And Senior Bong said this would be a good way to motivate upcoming athletes. And the upcoming athletes, uh, the governor of Delta State, Ifan Okowa, says it's important that we groom world class champions. And how do you grow world-class champions? Infrastructure must be top-notch. You also need to have um, qualified trainers. You need it's, it's 100 percent all around development. Let's listen to the governor. We are beginning to rekindle all the competitions that have been lost in the past. Uh, we are supposed to be state. Uh, Nigeria knows that. And I thank God for uh, the athletes that have done so well from Delta State and uh, two of our own were recognized today and we thank God for that. We want to reassure you that in the next few years we are definitely going to bring up a lot of athletes from Delta State that will hit the world stage. We will set the foundation now and we believe that uh, in, in the next years, even after my tenure in office, uh, that, that foundation that we're going to lay now is such that we will be able to produce athletes that will hit the world stage. So that's it. Uh, the governor of Delta State, uh, Ifai Okowa, speaking on the need to groom world champions. And of course, um, the, the Hall of Fame, that's one thing that everyone will be looking forward to. I saw the great Dibaba. I saw mm. Ali Gabriel Selassie. Names, you know, in world athletics. One young guy was watching now and said, someday... I'm, I must be in that bracket. Uh -huh. I, I, I must be in that bracket. And it starts from, from home. It starts from the grassroots. It starts mm. from the, the blueprint you have for development because if you're not developing the youngsters, if you're not giving them a platform to thrive, you talked about um, trainers, you've got to have the best coaches because if you cannot have quality coaches, you cannot produce quality stars. That's what it is. That's what it is. Uh, so who's going to teach the kid? Look at what LeBron, LeBron James mm. is doing right in America, opening a school that will take care of young talents. That's what we should be doing also. That's what we are doing with the channels International Kids Cup for Football. And we're coming...
with something else. It's just, it's just, it's just in the cola. You'll get to see it when we we'll bring it out. Sports tonight on your award-winning sports-loving channel television. Let's go on this break. When we come back, I will, the curtains will fall, but we will talk about one or two things. So don't go anywhere. Stay. Welcome back. So we have about a minute or two to wrap up the show. Let's just touch base uh, with Deontay Wilder. That's the name. Uh, we talk about heavyweight boxing now. If it's not Deontay Wilder, it's Anthony Joshua. And then recently, I uh, put Dillian White in the mix, put Tyson Fury. Uh, it will be good to see a Deontay Wilder, Anthony Joshua fight. Now, I'm just bringing down the interest because they're making us wait too long. But Tyson Fury says, look... I might just be going for this guy on, in December. He he looks um he, he looks very very excited. Tyson Fury saw me yesterday talking about um getting a chance to to fight Deontay Wilder, and he was talking about it looks like um Anthony Joshua is timid, doesn't want to fight the Deontay Wilder. He's scared mm. of Deontay Wilder, but it, it would be exciting to have Deontay Wilder go up with um, Tyson Fury. Yeah, because we're gonna hear a lot of trash talks before the fight itself. <laughs> in your book, thank you so much for your time. Always a delight to have you on the program. And of course, to you, wherever you are in the world, watching sports tonight on Channels TV. Thank you so much. But keep talking to us on Twitter, channels underscore sports, Facebook, channels after sports. That's the show for the team. I'm Austin O'Connor. I'll be back again tomorrow. But until then, in everything you do, remember, keep talking sports. Bye for now.